Hey everybody, so I decided to make another video, another part two, uh, a little bit of updates, answering questions and everything for the home internet. Also, I wanted to talk about the mid-band capacity upgrades that they just announced and more of them are coming. They just added a lot of it. Uh, they lit up a few different areas. One example, Philadelphia got lit up with the mid-band and there are people reporting up to 600 megabytes a second. There are some other people that I've seen commenting in areas that they're getting up to 250, up to 300 megabytes a second. So it's a really good upgrade hopefully we all get it eventually i know i don't have it in my area yet and uh it's not available for 5g is not available for home internet but it says it's coming so we don't know for sure when that's when we're going to really see the speed increases that's where i'm actually going to be a lot happier with the home internet right now it's it's decent for some people it, it's not quite what i need compared to what i can get uh but uh you know i will talk about that a little bit more but also, I wanted to address uh, you know a couple concerns. I've I've seen people that have talked about how the five G was actually slower for them, and that can be the case in some instances. It actually is for me as well. In my area, we only have the low band frequencies, and that's out of the six hundred megahertz. And ultimately, it's not any faster for me. Sometimes it's a little bit slower. Sometimes it's almost the same. I will also show you how you can disable your five G at least with an Android phone and uh, more specifically a uh, Samsung, yeah, that's what I use. I don't know the settings on the iPhone, I gotta find those out. I haven't had a chance to, to play with a, a new iPhone 12. Uh, maybe somebody can comment below with those settings, but uh, these are the cities that's coming up with uh, where it's going to be coming out for the mid-band. And ultimately, the majority of the country is experiencing the low band of it. So it's a three layer cake is what T-Mobile calls it. We got the, the low band, the mid band, and then the high millimeter wave. Uh, the high waves are where you got the extreme speeds. That's kind of what uh, you know, like Verizon concentrated on and everything. T-Mobile concentrated more on the low band and now the mid band, now that the merge has gone through and everything. Uh, the mid band is kind of the it's kind of the sweet spot because you get the, the really high speeds. Uh, you don't get like, you know, super incredible, like gigabit speeds. I mean, they say that mid band can reach up to one gigabyte, but I haven't heard that yet. I've only seen it up to the 600, typically around 250 to 300 in certain areas. Uh, but the low band is just about the same as the 4G LTE, if not just a little bit faster. Anyway, I'll go ahead and show you real quick from a, a video I took a, a few minutes ago of my phone of how you can turn off the 5G or you can switch it back and forth. Uh, so we'll go ahead and open this up. I'll go into my settings. You're, you'll go to the settings. And then you're going to go to connections. From there, you go to mobile networks. And then you're going to see network mode. You're going to click on that and you can alternate between them. Right now I have the LTE and you could go back and forth between the 5G LTE or just the LTE. And that's how you can do it. Uh, if you're in an area where it's just not going to really support mid-band yet, you might be better off doing this. It, it, at least it was for me. Now, certain areas it has helped me a lot more just to have the 5G up. Uh, when I was traveling recently for my birthday, we went to the coast and you got to travel through the mountains and everything. And there was a couple areas where turning on the 5G, I actually got signal in a couple places where I did not with the 4G and I never did in the past. So it's, it's definitely an increase for, you know, network and everything. I mean, it's not going to be the case every single place. It's not lit up every single place. But, you know, I'm just trying to give you the information that I have, the experience that I have. But ultimately, it is a great thing. It's coming. It's still in its infancy overall. It's going to get better. It definitely is. Uh, Mid-band, like I said, is going to be where it's really at because that's going to give you the high speeds. Plus, it's going to give you the distance. It's going to give a lot more people connectivity and not just speed. But anyway, we could go ahead and get into the mobile Internet aspect of everything. And so I've had a lot of questions with the mobile Internet uh, a lot of people are, you know, they wanted me to show more of the settings for the router. They, I've had a lot of different questions, and you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to address all of that stuff. But uh, you know, I'll go into the settings here in a moment. Some of the questions I had was, am I still getting those speeds? Have I been throttled and everything else? I'm gonna show you that in the settings. I'll show you what my status is. I'll do another speed test, show you where I'm at now. Uh, I've been averaging between 80 and 100 megabytes down. Uh, the up 
fluctuates between 35 to 50. Occasionally I get just a little bit higher. I do get higher speeds on my phone compared to this, but you know, that's what it is. I might get a little better if I move the gateway around right now. It's kind of in the center of my house, so it's not near a window or anything. And, but I'm not going to move it around just because I have it hardwired and you know, it's just no, no point in me moving it at least for the, for the moment. But uh, you know, anyway, let me go ahead and let's get into the settings here. I'm also going to address a few things that was told to me by a, a, you know, a couple followers and some people that have been commenting on my video. Uh, so if you're interested in the home internet, don't go to the store don't call 611 from your phone. They're not going to be able to really help you. Um, I had somebody tell me that they went into the store. They told them that they wanted a home internet and the person sold them a hotspot device, which is limited data and it's more expensive. You don't want that. You need to go to the website. I'll put the website below and you have to check and see if it's available. If it's available in your area, it will give you a phone number to call. That is a specific number for a dedicated team that does home internet. Not just your normal representative is gonna be able to help you with this. We have no access to this whatsoever. So if it shows it's not available, don't call because they won't be able to help you still. And they can't transfer you over to the home internet unless you've already been you know, qualified in your area. And you know, don't go to the store. Like I said, they're not gonna be able to help you. They might try to sell you something you don't need and you know, I don't want you going out. I don't want you spending money. I'm the type of employee that doesn't like to sell things to people that they don't need it. And I don't, well, you get what I mean. So anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the settings here. So I don't have my router set up right now, but I will tell you that an external router will work. I used a Nighthawk. It's a little bit older model that I have, but uh I also had a couple comments of people that have used other routers. I have someone that commented, they said that they set up an entire mesh system for their home, which ideally is the perfect setup. I would love to have a mesh system, uh, but uh, it, you know, it's been clarified that you can use the routers with it. It will work pretty well. And it's actually, I actually recommend it because the gateway itself is not super strong. There's no antennas in it. It's all internal. And I, I wish they did provide antennas because I think it would have helped out a lot with connections and stuff, especially with the Wi-Fi signals. But, uh, you know, you can at least use a router. You're, it's going to go pretty well for this. Anyway, let's go ahead and we'll take a look at the dashboard. We're in the expert mode right now. Uh, people have been requesting to see more of the actual settings that are available. So that's why I'm going to do this. You can see network status all OK. Parental control, I have it inactive. I don't really need it. Uh, we have device settings. Uh, which you're going to have your administration, uh, your administration. You can change your passwords and everything. Uh, you got your, you know, your date and time where it could be automatic or you know whatever. And then you could do a backup. You could restore. You could do the firmware updates. Uh, or actually, no, the firmware is going to be automatic. You don't need to mess with that whatsoever. Uh, you do have system logs where you can see different things. I actually haven't looked at it yet. Uh, but yeah, that's going to give you some different uh, logs that happens there. Uh, we'll go back to the dashboard here and go to the LAN. Uh, that's going to give you your network information, your, your IP address, subnet mask. I am going to blur that part of it out. Um, you, know, you got your network map. Right now I only have the Ethernet and then one device connected to it. And then oh, let's go back to status. Uh, from the status, you're going to see the connection type that it has. Uh, you're going to see your signal strength, you can see your IP address, everything in there as well. Uh, your wireless, your you know, your Wi-Fi signals, uh, the information on those. It's going to give you your system information, the IMEI, and everything else. It, it has an IMEI just like a just like a cell phone. It's got a ICC ID or which is a this SIM card just like a cell phone. And then you can even see your phone number that's for the home internet. I don't know if you could actually use that for anything. It does show SMS in here, but I haven't really tested anything. Uh, traffic query. So people have asked me about my data usage. Has it been capped or anything like that? Have I throttled all that stuff? So as you can see, I've used 322 gigabytes in the last two weeks. And this is just based off of my personal usage. It wasn't used for my entire household. This is just me uh, with all my testing and everything and, and running everything in my bedroom mostly. So the usage would be higher if I included my, my children with their streaming and YouTube and everything else that they do. 
but you can see I've used over 300 gigabytes. I haven't been throttled. I'll do a speed test here in just a moment for you, just to give you an updated speed test. Uh, it does fluctuate just a little bit, but not too much, at least for me. And then, you know, you could go in, you could do, you can manage your LTE settings. I recommend not touching that. You don't need to. Uh, land settings, you don't really need to mess with that either. Wi-Fi settings, of course, you can you can mess with that. Uh, you can change your passwords and everything in here. It's Like I mentioned in my first video, it's actually easier to do settings through your browser than it is for your, uh, your phone. Uh, so I do recommend using a browser if you have a computer. If you don't, you can still use your mobile device to set it all up. And then, of course, you can see your client list uh, for LAN and wireless. And then, you know, I'm kind of wondering. I'm going to test it. Let's find out if the SMS works. Send finish. Let's see if one pops through my phone. Oh, there's the alert. I'm going to find out. So that's pretty cool. You could actually send text through this client, through your home internet. So that's pretty neat. Um, yeah, I might have to play around with that a little bit. And then, of course, you got an inbox. So uh, I guess people can actually text you too. I'll have to, oh, you know what? Let's, let's go ahead and test that as well. I'll reply. Let's see if it goes, if it comes through. I don't know if it will automatically refresh or not. Ah, it sure did. That is pretty awesome. So you can actually use it to text people back and forth. You can use this as a, you know, a backup texting system or whatever you want to do. I'm not sure if the calling works. That would be another test another time. But uh, either way, that is really cool. I, I just tried it just by seeing it. Uh, the NAT forwarding. So uh, this stuff does work. And, uh, you know, I, I still haven't figured out the, the NAT types. I don't really need this. I just I had it on just because I was playing with it for somebody. But somebody commented that they're that they were seeing NAT2 type uh, on their console by using the home internet. And then of course you you also got uh, UPnP. You got you know you got quite a few things that you can mess with. None of this stuff is anything that I need, so I don't mess with it. The typical person is probably not going to mess with that. The only thing that the only people I think that's going to be messing with NAT forwarding that much is maybe gamers. Um, but ultimately, I haven't had any issues with gaming, so I'm not I'm not going to mess with it. You know, your parental controls. I kind of went over that a little bit and. I don't think I went into the expert mode for some of this stuff, but you know, it's typical. You could do, I haven't turned it on to see what kind of settings it has. I guess you just do a list here. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with that. If you're interested in the parental controls, you could always look up some settings for that. And then, you know, we got the diagnostics. You can do pinging, trace routes. Uh, we have security. You got the, you know, the firewall. I turned off the firewall because I was messing with something. And then, you know, you got, uh, you know, IP Mac binding settings, access control, a lot of this stuff. Some of this stuff, I'm not the most familiar with network, with network things. I was always more of a, a hardware guy, a computer guy. I never really got into the networking part of it. Very, very basic stuff is what I know. And then we have, well, I already showed you the device settings, and then we have, you know, quality of service and stuff. And then, of course, you got your basic. For the most part, the basic is going to be what most people are going to be using. Not too many people really need to mess with the expert. But let's go ahead and, you know, let's go ahead and give you an updated speed test here. Let it find its server here real quick. Okay, so it wants to connect to Seattle, Washington. I don't know why, because that's a whole different state. But let's go ahead and see what I'm getting right here at this moment. And this is at 7.30 or almost 7.30 at night. So right now we're it's kind of going up and down there a little bit. So we're going to say we're we're averaging pretty close to 80 down. A little bit more there at the end. I think the ping might be just slightly lower than what I was getting in the last video. Uh, that's actually what I've been averaging lately. Like I said, the uploads I've been averaging between like 30 and 50. So it looks like we ended up with 94 down. 
All right, there you go. So you can see I'm still not throttled. I have been using a lot of da data. I've used over 300 gigabytes. So they, they're clearly not throttling me down. Now, I, I can't say too much for if you're in an area where there's a lot of congestion and everything. I am more into in the city. Uh, so there definitely is more people on the towers compared to if you're rural. Uh, so I would assume if it's not affecting me, it's not going to affect you. But I can't really promise that because I don't really have any experience in that part of it. But anyway, I think that pretty much covers just about everything. Uh, I'm going to take a look at my questions here real quick. I just want to make sure that I you know, handle all the questions that were being thrown at me by people. So I seem to have misplaced my list of the questions. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to throw up the comments here, just kind of browse through them a little bit. If I missed one of your questions and everything, I'm, I do apologize. Uh, but I, I do, as you can see, I do try to reply to every single person in every single video that I make. It's one thing I've always tried to do. I don't like leaving anybody out of the dark there. If you ask me a question, I will respond to you. Anyway, let's take a look. So we got, uh, you know, uh, Someone, here's somebody that was talking about how they use the mesh system. They got 12 different things running on it with no issues. That was one of the people that commented and gave me feedback. Uh, you know, thank you for that. Um, then we have, you know, somebody else that where they, they mentioned where they called in and the rep told them about the, you know, $85 for 20 gigabytes of stuff. That's hotspot. Don't be calling in. Like I mentioned, they're not going to be able to help you with this. Um, let's see here. And then... Let's see, watch YouTube a lot on Apple TV. So, you know, more questions about throttling. I had a lot of questions about throttling, not even just on this video. People that reached out to me, you know, sent me on messages on social media, Discord, and different places that people know where I'm at. And then, you know, somebody was talking about the NAT type, which somebody responded in that one about what they were getting. Yeah, I had a lot of questions about when will this be available in your area? I have no idea. I won't be able to tell you that. The best you could do is go to the website, keep checking. It wasn't available for me for the last year. I checked off and on for the past several months, and it was finally available to me right before I did this the first review. And then, you know, I had questions about where am I located. So I'm located in Oregon. I am closer to the city, closer to the Salem area. And uh, so, you know, that, that's one of the answers there. Somebody else that they went to a store and – Somebody signed them up for a 14 gigabyte plan for $54. Again, a hotspot device. Uh, so you definitely got to be clear w with what you're wanting. That's another reason why I'm trying to address a lot of this. I want I don't want people getting something they don't need and that they don't want. And I just don't want you wasting your money. You know, don't don't give it to the big guys. I don't care if I work for them or not. I try to be as honest as I can. But uh, I've had also a lot of feedback where people said where it uh, was slower than they expected or, uh, you know, somebody said 15 down, 5 up, and that they're going to return it. That's, on, that's, that's expected. If you're not getting the speeds that you need, then, yeah, send it back. It's not for you. Uh, I know this is going to help out a lot of people. It's not for every single person out there. And that's just the way it is, at least for the moment. It, it's still growing. It's still expanding. Once the 5G does eventually come, that's going to help out a lot more people. Other people are getting, you know, 18 through 40. I had some people tell me where they were getting pretty close to mine. Uh, some people that were getting, you know, ping issues or latency. At least I haven't had an issue with any kind of ping or latency. Mine has worked pretty well. And other than that, I don't think there were too many more questions. Just double checking here. Now I had someone ask me why I was talking about 5G or uh, or why it said 5G when it's supposed to be 4G LTE. Uh, that was just you know misunderstanding. It is you know 4G LTE connection on the home internet it is not 5G. 5G is not available yet. The 5G that they were seeing is for the Wi-Fi. You got the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz, and that's just for your Wi-Fi. You know, the 2.4, you're going to be able to reach much further, and it's going to cover more of your home. Like I said, I do recommend using an external router. Uh, if you can afford it and you can get a mesh system, that's great. That is a goal for me. I do want to get a good, nice mesh system someday, uh, but it's not in my budget, at least for this moment. Uh, but really good systems to use, and I think it would work very, very well for this. 
anyway, I hope that I was able to answer, uh, you know, a bit more of the questions. I'm sure I'll still get a few more. And I wanted to give you another update, show you after a couple of weeks uh, what speeds I'm, I'm getting, uh, if I've been throttled and everything. As you can see, I have not. Uh, also, stay tuned. I do have the T Vision. I had the T Vision Vibe as of yesterday, and I have the T Vision Live as of, of today. Uh, it's going to be launching here in a few days now. It is for T Mobile customers only. And then a couple of weeks later, it will be for Sprint. And then they said that it will expand to other customers as well. But at least for launch, it's going to be. Uh, customers only and i i did i have been testing it i've been playing with it it is pretty cool i definitely love the the starter package i think that would be the one that i'm going to get personally when i have to pay for it and you know i'm going to go through both of them kind of show you what you get what, what to expect it is a streaming service so i do want to address uh, you know some things with that as well especially with data caps all that stuff anyway i hope my videos do help answer a lot of questions for some of you if you like my content subscribe like comment below and thank you for stopping by